Today, three former Columbus Zoo officials were indicted for their alleged role in a theft of over $2 million over a 10-year period. Within the past hour, Attorney General Dave Yost announced the 90-count indictment. NBC4's Delaney Ruth is live in our newsroom with what we know so far about these charges. Delaney. Jennifer Jared, former Columbus Zoo CEO Tom Stelf, former CFO Greg Bell, and former Director of Marketing Pink, F Pink Finger Hut, that is, are now facing dozens of felony charges in the misuse of zoo funds, according to the Ohio State Auditor. Attorney General Yost says these charges include 89 felony counts and one misdemeanor. This comes after a lengthy investigation into the three former employees that started in 2021. The Attorney General today says the men allegedly used zoo funds to go on vacations, attend sporting events, pick up food and liquor tabs, and allow family members to live in zoo-owned houses. Stolf and Fingerhut are both facing charges including aggravated theft, engaging in a pattern of corrupt activities, fraud, and bribery. Bell is being charged with conspiracy to engage in a pattern of corrupt activity, aggravated theft, and tampering with records. In today's news conference, Yo said that these indictments show people that this is a serious case and you can't rip people off without consequences. I hope that it sends a message uh, to the entire not-for-profit community that these are not your dollars. This is not your playground. This is not your company. You didn't make this. And the people didn't give you money so that you could do whatever you wanted. They gave it to you to do particular good works, good things. The attorney general says this is not the end of their work and more charges could come as the investigation progresses. Jennifer. Laney, thank you. Within the last 15 minutes, the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium also sent NBC4 a response after today's indictment. That reads in part, the Columbus Zoo has severed the relationship with several previous vendors and has retained a new auditing firm to conduct its an annual audit, ensuring a fresh perspective on its financial operations. Of course, this is a developing story and we will continue to bring you any new information we receive, so stay connected with our free NBC4 for a news app by scanning the QR code on your screen for updates in the palm of your hand.